So I wanted to talk about something that happened a few months ago. You might, you might remember that weird uh, experience I had, um, where I, I went to bed, and um, I hadn't fallen asleep, and uh, I was trying to get to sleep, and I was laid on my on my right side, looking at the wall, and I went into this medit meditation state in between the two dimensions because the the dream well the spirit world and dream world whatever you call it the astral world and the, the physical world they're, they're separated by this veil that's in between them and when you're in, bet in the between state you can actually start to uh, receive images from the other dimension now <clears throat> Oh, some people say, call it imagination, but I think there's, it's definitely not imagination because of all the ESP and all that other stuff that I do. And, well, some people do get imagination. It depends, but it, it is an imaginative state. But anyway, I saw this wall, and it wasn't my wall. Um, bedroom wall, whatever you call it, because the wallpaper was completely different. So my eyesight's still not right, by the way. Um, the the wallpaper was really bright, and I saw it in such clarity. You know, my eyesight's crap; it's not that good. And um, it was it wasn't I wasn't seeing it through my eyes. I was seeing it through the third eye, which is your pineal gland, which uh, everybody's got. But you just have to know how to use it or tune into it basically you have to basically tune out of the physical that is hearing uh normal eyesight and normal sensations and you've got to be in this um completely you've got to be disconnected if you like from the physical world and i was in that state where in between and i saw this wall right and <clears throat> and it's it's been driving me nuts for months now because it just raises that question mark where was I what was it you know what world was it and or was I just seen through somebody else's eyes um but it was so clear and I thought no, it can't be you know and and anyway well, I just watched this movie and it really opens up the um, imagination as to the possibilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a, a box up in the, um, uh, what do you call it, an end screen box. I'm not sure if it's going to be there or there. But um, go and watch the movie because this is a movie that I've just watched. It's called Alpha Gateway. Um, go and watch that and you'll understand what I'm, what I'm saying about alternate realities. Because to me, that could have been what I actually saw. It might have been an alternate reality. I just wish it had been more dramatic when I had the experience. But when you have these experiences, when emotion kicks in, that's when you tune out. Because um, <clears throat> when you're actually in that state, emotions, physical experiences, physical um, things detract from it it's like it's like tuning a radio station and it's really touchy and you can't quite get the station to tune in you i mean we've all been through that in that situation where you've been trying to tune into a radio station and you keep going past it you go back a bit go past um it's it's like that where anything um can tip it the stick the st the balance and knock it out of tune you know that's what i'm talking about it's so easy to just knock it out of tune and you lose the picture basically and that's what happened to me because i as soon as i saw this other place this other world this this image in my mind um i immediately <clears throat> thought oh cool and that reaction just it made it it just faded away because of that so I lost, I lost the connection, and it was a shame because I would have liked to have seen what it was about. But that's what happens when you get emotional. But anyway, 
go and check that movie out and you'll probably understand what I'm talking about because mm, it's a pretty cool movie. It's pretty interesting. Thanks for watching.